Hey guys, uh, today we are looking for the best uh, CarPlay adapter. So over here I have a bunch of devices. Uh, those are wired to wireless CarPlay converters. And we have over here, this is Mirabox. Uh, we have CarLinkit Plus. We have CarLinkit Mini. We have MMB. We have uh, ScoomaxCon. We have Z6 Plus. Here's uh, C Play to Air, and here's Autocast. So there are eight, uh, eight of them over here. Most of them I've already reviewed for you in uh, my previous videos, and today we are looking for the best one over here for your needs. So all those eight devices are lined up over here. Each of them is uh, upgraded with the latest firmware that I could find for it. Each one is set to default settings and each one of them was tested with the same iPhone 11 running uh, latest firmware, uh, iOS 15.2. And each device was tested in the same car in Golf Mark 7 with MIP2 based infotainment system. Of course, to use any of those adapters, your car needs to be CarPlay enabled. This means that your iPhone uh, needs to work with USB cable and uh, you should see CarPlay interface on your infotainment screen. If you cannot do this with your iPhone and USB cable, your car is not CarPlay enabled and those adapters will not bring the CarPlay functionality to your vehicle. Each of those devices was tested by me for startup times, interface lags, wireless range, supported user input methods and advanced vehicle integration features. And all of those results can be found in single Google Sheets documents, which is linked in the description below this video. You will also find information over there about iPhone 11, how it performs with standard USB wired connection, just for your reference. So right now let's pick the best CarPlay interface that I could find in 2021. Um, first of all, if you are looking for cool features like video playback or wireless screen mirroring, there are two devices can, uh, that can do that. This is the ZX, uh, Z6 Plus and the MMB. Both play video files from USB drive, but neither is perfect. There's a little bit of audio video synchronization issue, but you can live with it. If you just want to play some cartoons for your kids while driving, those are perfect for the job. Both are working as an AirPlay and Android mirroring displays after you connect your smartphone to the same Wi-Fi network as the device. Wireless CarPlay in those uh, devices performs not as good as with wired connection. It's not as snappy and you can experience some input lags. Also, boot up times are higher than in the rest of the devices, but there's a simple explanation. More features equals heavier operating system equals higher boot up times. Z6 sometimes fails to start at first and reboots automatically to retry. Doesn't happen that often, but still worth mentioning. And the MMB device is much more expensive than the Z6. Now, ScoomaxCon, if I pronounce that connect correctly, and this device is not ready in my opinion, just not yet. I believe it will perform great, but I have some issues with it right now and I'm still waiting for firmware updates that should fix and improve the device. So this one is out from the comparison for now, but most likely will come back in 2022. Here's Autocast, but sadly it failed one of the tests, the trunk test. It was a simple test where I just exit the vehicle with my phone in hand and go to the trunk while the music plays through my car's stereo. All I wanted is uh, for the connection to stay stable. Sadly, Autocas device was not able to do that. Connection dropped after a few steps and after going back to the driver's seat, I had to wait again for it to reconnect, which was a little bit annoying. Here's uh, C Play to Air, and with the with the most recent firmware version, I had some issues with it. Uh, system froze, and my infotainment crashed one or two times while the device was connected to it. And what's interesting, I was using this device for a while and had no issues uh, with it whatsoever. That's until updating the firmware for this adapter comparison test. And right now, I cannot reproduce this issue, so it works correctly, but still. Uh, worth mentioning that I had those uh, issues for, uh, for a while. Here's CarLinkit 3.0 Mini. It's the smallest one and the cheapest one over here and still has all the same features as, uh, as the rest. 
it boots up and auto connects a little bit slower than the rest it takes about 35 seconds where where the calling kit plus this one and the mira box over here um, uh, do it uh, 10 seconds faster so about 25 seconds to fully connect with your phone so this brings us to conclusion if you want video playback pick the z6 plus if you want the smallest one or the cheapest one, uh, take uh, Carlink Kit 3.0 Mini and you will be happy with it. And between Carlink Kit Plus, Mirabox and Cplay 2 Air, I would pick the cheapest one because all of those devices work great, have all the same features, so it's down to the price. And at the moment, Carlink Kit 3.0 Plus it's, is the cheapest one of them all. And with the money saved, you can buy a MagSafe charger like this one. So you can just place your phone in the holder and it will charge your phone wirelessly automatically. And whenever you exit the car, just pick it up like so. So here we have our winners and that's it for today. Below the video you will find links to online stores for those devices and the test results um, document if you want to check the details. And individual reviews are also linked below if you want to check them out. Subscribe for future tests and reviews and give me thumbs up if you like this CarPlay interface comparison video. See you soon.